terug bij chat nou in nou zoals jullie kan zien vandaag zijn nieuws gaan een beetje anders ter werk aangezien op je kopie en rocking the daisies de line-ups nog en nou is is het dan niet erg veel anders wat zorgt maar ook in die muziek bedrijf niet of je weet in die niche niet zo so, dit is hoe komt ons vandaag hier zo een superwoman van die industrie hier zo in studio uit ons het voor uh, Catherine Glenfell hier zo om ons beetje te vertellen wat ik zei van hier die hele line-up story van rocking the daisies in op je kopie cat welcome to chat now bye dan Thank you, Mir Tavies. Yeah, that's a plaisir. Yeah. I think that's about the best of your <laughs> In that case, we'll keep it in English. <laughs> so, it was announced that Opi Kopi and Rocking the Daisies will now uh, be over the same weekend yes. and also sharing the same international act. So, yeah. what's your take on that? Um, you know, initially, I was, I, I go, normally go to both festivals, so I was a bit upset that I wouldn't, I would have to choose. But also, you know, I mean, the RAND is, it is weak and we, we want to watch international acts. So, I, I mean, I completely understand understood with the fact that they were coming together so that we can have big international acts coming to South Africa and um, they're going to be saving money on not having to do their extra little shows in Joburg and, and Cape Town and so I think I think it is a great idea because we are now going to be able to see some really really cool international acts. Yeah. Yes. And, and these international acts were just announced this morning so they were indeed. Which, which ones of those are you looking forward to the most? Okay so the, the, there were three really I mean there's a whole bunch of internationals but the three big ones was The Naked and Famous, Two Door Cinema Club and Flume, which I'm very excited about. I think all three are going to be great. Uh, Flume recently won a Grammy. Um, Naked and Famous have never been to South Africa. Oh. And Two Door Cinema Club have been before, but they've got a brand new album. So I think it's going to be a really, really good lineup. And, you know, the thing is with festivals is that it doesn't actually matter who the internationals are, who's on... You're going there, you're having a whole vibe. Yeah. As long as the lineup is just a great bunch of acts to go and watch, yes. you're going to be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As, long as, as long as it's good music, exactly. we're all good to go. Exactly. And speaking of which, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, sure there are some local acts that you're also looking forward to. So, out of everybody, yes. uh, who, who, who would you say are the ones that you. So, I am extremely excited to see Black Coffee right. as well as Mafiki Zolo. Both of them will be performing at Opi Kopi. And, I you know, I love looking at a lineup and seeing bands that I've actually never heard of before. Yeah. Because I think it is so important at any festival that you, you have some acts that you want to go and watch, um, but really wandering around the festival, discovering new acts, that is really what a festival is yeah. all about. Yeah, discovering new music. Yes. I mean, why, you know, why go Absolutely. to it? Because we're not going to see something Definitely. new. Yes. And uh, there are, like, uh, this, you know, regarding the, the local acts that are, yes. are going to be at the two festivals, they are actually going into a bit of different directions. Yeah. So what's your take they've on that? Got, they've got some double ups, obviously. Um, yes. There's some artists that will be performing at both. I think that Rocking the Daisies has a very, very beautiful, strong hip hop lineup. I'm, okay. I'm quite jealous um, <laughs> about that lineup. And their dance lineup is also very good uh, in terms of Opie Copy. There's a lot of acts that I haven't heard of before that I'm so excited about discovering. Yeah. And I think that that's where Opie Copy has always been at the forefront. They've been putting acts on that sometimes people don't know about. They start on like smaller stages and they eventually build themselves up onto big stages. And they've always just pushed those boundaries. So I absolutely love Opie Copy's lineup. I'm very excited about both lineups. And, and strangely enough, you know, you always get the people that do complain on social media. Uh, always. What do you have to say about that? Like people complaining um, about lineups? Oh, complaining about like lineups. That? You know, I, I always think to myself is that they, everyone always thinks that they know best and yeah. everyone always thinks that it's so easy to get internationals. A lot of the internationals that we would love to see in South Africa are extremely expensive and we yeah. actually just can't bring them. And, and I always just think, just leave it up to the professionals. Yeah. They know what they're doing. They've been doing this for a very long time and they are bringing a lineup that will surprise you yeah. and you will actually enjoy. And I, guess, and I guess people also forget that, you know, those bands might also actually be busy with shows during this time. Exactly. So, yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not one thing that you're looking at. It's, it's money and it's schedules and there's a whole bunch of things that go into it so i think you know those people that don't enjoy the lineup just yeah. don't go yeah. or go and maybe you'll be surprised <laughs> exactly and which one which one would you be going to or so, have you already kind of given I, us the hint no, there I, you, you ha <laughs> I have given you the hint i'm definitely going to opi copy also because i will be performing at opi copy okay. um so i'm very excited about that 
And so yes, I will be at Opie Coffee. It's and now a you know. Special place in my heart. Yeah. Coffee. Oh, yes. Well, then we hope you really <laughs> enjoy it. And now you oh. did a bit more, a more in-depth take on the festivals and what is going down. Thank you so much, Kat, for Such being here, giving us the insight on the scoop. Any time. <laughs> we hope you enjoy it very much. Maar nou gaat ons terug naar de muziek. Gepraat van muziek festivals. Hier is Joshua Nadiriet.